383, wrong direction. Three bad numbers released today. That one was worse than expected going in the wrong direction. You want to see the numbers go down. The other one is ADP this morning came out and said private sector employment. These are the numbers. They're expecting 150,000 or so jobs created. They got 33,000. <laughs> but the relevant part of that number is for the first quarter of 2012, they were running at 200,000 private sector jobs created per month Which on is average. Pretty good. January, February, March. April and May, the average is down to about 125,000. So right. there's almost a 35% drop from the first quarter to the second quarter. And then the one you wrote yeah, down. Yeah, this right one right there. here. That's the big, that's a bad GDP, one. gross domestic product. Right has been revised down to less than 2%. Less than 2%. Now at 1.9%. Exactly. 1.9 down from, I believe, it was a 2.1 or a 2.2 prior to that. That's really bad news because the only way to get out of this mess we're in is by getting GDP up, getting growth up. You can cut spending to a certain extent. You can raise taxes to a certain extent. But to get $16 trillion deficit out or on the right path, you need growth. You need 2.5%, 3% growth. That's a healthy kind of a healthy market. We've had 5% growth and 6%. Here's the thing. Uh, normally, if we're, we're in a competitive environment, we wouldn't be upset that India's slowing down, that China's having problems, that Europe's having problems. But uh, essentially, in this world, we're all so interconnected. What kind of rooting for them to come up too, correct? Yeah, I, you know, there, there's, Brian, it's a good point. China, everyone says China's a bit, that big engine that's going to keep the globe go, going. There are more and more news stories coming out of China that they may, may be slowing a little bit. They might stimulus. It, it affects us. I mean, we, we, we absolutely sell a lot of stuff to China. We use China. We use Chinese labor quite a bit too. So you want all these economies to be doing well. But for us to slow to a GDP of 1.9, I'll tell you what else it'll do. It'll blow all those White House projections on how much Obamacare is going to cost, how, what, what the deficit's going to look like going go forward, up. if it doesn't get back to what they projected. And I, I, if I'm not mistaken, they're projecting a 25 to 3% growth going forward. If you're getting mm -hmm. one nine, everything's going to look worse. Okay, let's talk quickly about... I'm trying to be about... optimistic, though. Well, Honestly, okay, I so... really think the, the world, the global economy, should be turning out of this slump it's been in for the better part of three years. Hopefully it does, but this... Stalling. Okay, so this next story is uh, you has uh, you yeah. have some optimistic and pessimistic yeah. point of views on. It's it's a double double whammy. Uh, job applications are up for auto industry jobs, so yeah. that's good. Well, here I'll give you the good news and the bad news. Well, don't look at that full screen yet. Don't put that one up there. The okay. Good news and the bad news. Strike that from the record. Okay. The bad news is 20,000 people tried out for 877 jobs in an Alabama auto plant. Uh, they were going to add a third line. They're going to add uh, more hours, a, th uh, a third shift. 877 job openings, 20,000 people applied for it. That means the, the economy is still really struggling. People are looking. People are looking. The good news is where these jobs are happening. Take a look. I, I, I hope they got a full screen, not the one they're looking for here. The, the auto companies that are opening plants, they're opening them in right-to-work states. So this auto plant, that's a Hyundai plant in, uh, in Alabama. In South mm -hmm. Carolina, we know about BMW. They're opening sure. plants in BMW. Tennessee has Nissan, Toyota, and, and, and Volkswagen. And in Texas, Toyota also. So the foreign car companies are coming here opening in right-to-work states right. and selling and making, manufacturing and selling us cars. Meanwhile, you know the story in Detroit, in Michigan, if you go to work for an auto company, right. you have to pay union dues. You don't necessarily have to be part of the UAW. Doesn't matter though, you're still gonna, your union dues are gonna come out of your paycheck anyway. Sure. So until Detroit fixes itself, until they break the, make, make, make Michigan a right-to-work state,